This is a little strategy involving the microwave beam that I'm calling stir fry. It's not a new idea, plenty of people have done this before and I've done it here and there as I play, but lately I've been doing it a lot more consciously. Basically it's a hard lockdown for heavy demons for the beamers out there. Primarily we're looking at some of the high mobility heavy demons, hell knights, dread knights, and whiplashes, demons that don't have weak points to break for an easy falter. If you're a fan of grenade setups to falter an enemy and grant an opening, these demons can frequently slip away from the setup due to how fast they are. It's not common for them to just sit there and wait for you to throw a grenade at them. What you do is microwave them for a second and a half while you toss a grenade at them. A microwave beam stun lasts for about half a second after you stop firing and in that window you're approaching the enemy while the grenade explodes into a guaranteed hard falter. They are locked down and there's nothing they can do about it. Stir Fry is also applicable to Super Heavy Demons. Lately I've been using it as my opening against Arch Vials just in case they want to teleport away when I start firing. A Stir Fry opener gets me in close for a lot of damage and then a Blood Punch refalters him and after that he's done. When I'm fighting a tyrant, I'm unloading all this initial damage, and when he starts his wah 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 laser, I'll do a stir fry to stop his targeting and then go in to capitalize on the falter setup and he'll be dead really soon. So if you like using the microwave beam together with frag setups, this is a really fun and effective way to mix them together. You just need to practice the timing because if you don't get it right, a dread knight will end up jumping out of the setup and you definitely don't want that. Thanks for watching.